Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have round three of YCS Utrecht 2020, and we have Daniel T on Tier Element versus Tobias S on Crystal Beast. So we're gonna go ahead. Both these players are currently undefeated. They both round one, you know, one round one and two. They're gonna go Shailen effect. And then it's gonna discard Miri, Mill 3. You kinda see the opponent's hand. Mills a Torn Scales, and, and a Nessie. Nessie's important too. Torn Scales though? Puts back the Shaylin on board. Not even the Nessie in group. There's gotta be some goo here. All right, I'm, I'm down, I'm down. Live reaction to the goo. All right, so Kikalis is gonna go search now, summons it and defends that could show that they also have the Scareclaw stuff in their deck, but nope. Uh, search of Solik, Kit Effect, Tag Out in the Miri, Kit, Miri, Mill 8. Yeah, let them go ahead and cut before we mill just a bunch of our deck. Phantom Knight cards, Tier Element, Hafinus, Solik, Rhino. Oh, we can't see the bottom three. Everyone always separates their Kit Callus and Miri Mills. I used to do that too, like the very first time I played tier, and then I just kind of stopped. But yeah, we can't see the bottom three mills, so that's unfortunate. There's just like a Phantom Knight there, it changes a lot. Maybe they should uh, have the camera angle. Oh wait, okay, never mind. It was just Hafinus and two more Imperm. Maybe they had him like push it forward a little bit so they could see it. I think it's actually kind of important for the camera angle to be zoomed out a little bit because even like last round, I didn't know how many cards the guy had in hand. And that's like, that's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like competitive wise, like if somebody has five cards in hand, you're not going to go for a greedy play because you can just get hand trapped multiple times. But if your opponent only has one card in hand, it's like, okay, uh, how easily can I set up the beat? Whatever that one of is like, I, I can play around it. Just summon Savage first and I win. It's not this example like that. Ooh, ulti imperms. You're rich, rich. But you still put back the Shailen on board over Nessie and Graves. So we're going to have to give you an L. Unless if, unless if that was done on purpose. Effect discards ragged clubs. Oh my gosh. See, that's crazy. Because whenever I... I, I do it all the time. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I mix tier in like a different deck and try to like use that as an engine, a mill engine. It's like half the time I do it, I just literally don't draw tiers or I draw all tiers. This player just draw like Torn Scale, like perfect. And then Link off, go in the Elf. Okay, activate Ancient Cloak, Banish. Extra X also got to be goofy. Like, you got Phantom Knights, Tears, Elf. So, like, I wonder how many, like, generic links there actually are. And Starlight Rare Torn Skills, too. And then Special Summon Boots. Overlay those. And then we're going to make the Sea Dragon. Ulti. Oh my gosh, summon out the Ancient Cloak and attack, effect on Kaleido, make it gain 800. I mean, it's kind of useless, right, because it's in defense. If anything, you're just making, like, a talents a bit stronger. But sure, make IP. And then activate Boots, banish, go search. And then it's going to grab Fog Blade. Nah, don't tell me. Is it, like, that's going to say, there's got to be more added to this end board, right? Nah, there's no way. <laughs> nah, don't set one pass. I guess it was always just set two because we have Solid Fog Blade. I mean, it's not bad. It's just like, wouldn't just a sprite package in the deck do more? And you don't even have to draw the sprites. Like, you can access them through your extra deck. I guess maybe that's the same theory with Rusty, but it doesn't make sense because, like, tier doesn't actually put enough, like, random dark bodies on board that just like reasonably be able to like make rusty and then still like do other things but they're gonna start off their turn with shifter nice six card 
I mean, it's still not a bad six card, to be honest. It really isn't. People always, like, say, like, oh, I drew Shifter as the six unfortunate. It's like, it's not, it's, it's probably better than, like, it's better than, like, every other hand trap is the six. Imperm, maybe, is, like, an argument. But, Elf summon back out Miri. Because... They might have said end of main one, and they went, sure, I'm going to summon back. And then they went, okay, let's prosperity now. Or maybe they went main phase, drop, shifter, and then they went elf on Miri. That's just something the fruits, like, send uh, for free off Solik. But looking at the top, we see Talons, TC Boo, Shifter, Secret Village, and then I think its name is the bridge of the crystal it's the one that pops and adds i know what it does and it bounces also tc boo in the main deck's kind of wild for this event okay so now they're gonna read it yeah you gotta read you gotta you gotta read over it now as i said in my videos with the crystal beast decks you have to learn what these cards do because you're gonna end up going up against the guy Round one at the YCS, and they're going to be playing Crystal Beast, and you're going to lose because you don't know what you're doing against them, or you're going to let them cheat against you on accident because you don't know what their cards do. So now they're going to activate uh, Crystal Rainbow or something like that, the one that searches the spell, a Crystal Spell, and then activate the Broken Spell, and then that's the one that lets us search Pegasus and put the ultimate rainbow dragon in the spawn trap zone this match is like this match is crazy because this is like proving my knowledge to myself of crystal beast because it's not like i look at this deck every day or anything okay we're gonna link all three of those off probably just make a nice appalooza okay okay it's kind of crazy because like crystal beast they really seem like they have the advantage here. Like, maybe I could be wrong. Oh, it's an Ultra Sapphire, too. Okay. Nice nice Pegasus. Looks good. Looks good. So now they're going to have Pegasus effect. Try to put in the spell and trap zone. Appaloosa negate that. They're going to activate the spell to try to destroy Pegasus. Um, I don't know if you have to target with that. I feel like you don't. But they're going to destroy, go search. And then... Uh, I'm not sure what they're trying to grab here. Or, yeah, I, I couldn't see what they grabbed there at all, actually. And then they're going to use the spell effect to try to bounce itself and Appalooza. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maybe a judge call. Or so. I mean, they're obviously looking at a judge right now. They're not just both looking over mid-match. So maybe it's what they added was wrong. Again, like, I just can't tell. They're going to use the effect to try to bounce Appalooza, which is broken. Using the bounce effect on your turn is so free. Using the bounce effect on their turn is still nice, though. But it's just because, uh, yeah, they're going to go ahead, use the crystal... And that's gonna special summon from deck and search. Just broken, right? The spell says search and place in the spell and trap zone. The one that places in the spell and trap zone says special summon and search. And then the one that you summon the Pegasus is level four. It's like like the main guy of the deck. Necro Valley in hand, that's gonna like hold their follow-up down. They're still going to be under shifter next turn. They're going to activate the spell, reveal. And then... Alright, they're going to go ahead and now search. Or is this the summon? I know there's two effects on it. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember which one they're doing yet. They're going to go ahead and summon out the, the ruby, the kitty cat. And then they're going to get the cat effect to go ahead and try to bring out the sapphire pegasus. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, you can take a Rainbow Bridge card, search it, or special summon a Crystal Beast. And then they're going to use the Sapphire effect to go put the Sapphire in the Spell and Trap Zone. And 
And then I'm... Oh, uh, it's like if we overlay, what do we go for? So we don't want them banished. Yeah, that works. Puts in an attack position. Oh, uh, so that way we can Zeus. Oh, uh, Zeus under shift up the rest of the cards, but they have Fog Blade, Solik, though. I know, like, Babuska can't be targeted because it's an attack position, but... You know, the downer, or not the downer, but the Zeus that we make could definitely be targeted. Okay, read, reading over Babuska a few times, a few times. Go ahead and... Oh yeah, they have one card left in hand. I don't think we know what it is. We're going to Fog Blade on Kaleidos, so that way they can't attack. That's fair. Um, we could have just done it on Zeus, though. Right? Because, like... I mean, this prevents Zeus, but it's not like Zeus is going to have four materials under it. Because you can't down it over Babuska. Maybe they didn't think about that. Activate the Necker Valley. No, I think they have Conclove in hand. That card's nice. It says when a Crystal Beast monster you, uh, is destroyed, you can go ahead and special summon a Crystal Beast from the deck. And then you can use its other effect, but not in the same chain as the first one, where you can go ahead and send itself to the graveyard to do the bounce. And they showed what it is! Fumbled the bag! Pass. Draws into a purple card, which means it's probably either a Fog Blade or a Shade. Possibly the third Solik, but there's just no way you'd run three in this deck. Okay, we're going to set one. And pass. Oh, no. That's crazy. Yeah, but boost good attach. Wow. Crystal Beast actually came back from that? I mean, sure. I, I was kind of expecting... It's like... The tier element and board turn one wasn't that good, but it, it, it had potential. Like, it'd be hard to end the game through the end board, and it had a lot of follow up. So it's like, it was probably just good enough to win. But man, like, the shifter. And then, like, now we have Necker Valley up two. That's just a lot of graveyard hate. That's, that, that's tier. The Crystal Beast is the Exosister. Sister. It's like the guy that, uh, the one the YCS. So now they're gonna activate, reveal, special summon out Ruby from the spell and trap zone. Cause you can do it from like hand, deck, spell or trap zone. I don't think you can do it from grave. Uh, Pegasus effect to put one. They're gonna put Eagle there. Bro, Eagle? You play Eagle? That's crazy. That puts one to the top of the deck, one Crystal Beast card you control. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, it seems like the Crystal Beast player is, like, very far ahead here over tier, and I don't really see how they're going to ever beat this Necker Valley. Especially if this Babuska ends up getting switched to defense. But even just the Conclove, the Conclove is enough to, like, realistically hold the opponent out. You have a balance plus Necker Valley. It's all you need. So, also, fairly certain when, because I, I got like, you know, I got this earbud in. I'm pretty sure one of the commentators just said that now Fog Blade is in the Griever and it can be used to block a punch from Babuska if they'd like. Which, <clears throat> Necker Valley. Uh, so I'm going to assume that they didn't say that. But, hey, you know, I understand. I understand. Sometimes as a commentator, you can definitely. Especially just, you can just miss over stuff. It seems like it would be impossible, but somehow it just, it, it gets done. Like, if I watch somebody else's video and they're commentating, I'm catching everything. I commentate my own, like, commentate, like, matches I go over. Sometimes I mess up and I'll, I'll look over when I'm done and I'm, when I'm done and I'm like, how? Like, how am I that dumb? Set Hofinus, we're going to activate Conclove, send the graveyard to bounce. I'm just kind of waiting for the scoop. Like, it's obviously game. 
But Daniel just wants to know more of his opponent's cards. And, I mean, you know, he's been giving him access to it. He's let him read what Eagle does. Let him read Conclove. So now we're going to summon Pegasus. And then battle phase, attack. Activate shade to block an attack. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it's purpose, but it, it it's doing it. It's doing it. It's definitely blocking an attack. So it gets poked. Then main phase two, activate the spell, spell effect, destroy Pegasus, go search, and then I can't we search for crystal, miracle. Nah, no, not conclove. That's miracle for sure that we just searched. And then Yeah, they're gonna use the spell to bounce back the set card. Uh, oh, yeah, they did need to detach from Babuska during the standby phase. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, okay, okay. So game one's over. Crystal Beast wins. Skipping on to the next one. Oh, wait a second. Go back. Go back. Never mind. I thought that was uh, uh, Jake Quincy for a second. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I actually like, noticed somebody. I, I don't know a lot of a lot of players from like over yonder. But, all right, on to the next game. We're going to go ahead. We are going to see, oh my gosh, Tier Element has Fog Blade, Imperm, Imperm. Four back row. They lied. They, they side deck. They took the Phantom Knights out, and they put the Paleo Traps in. Let's go. Activate Prosperity. Is this going to be clean? We see Cowboy in the extra Crystal Beast. I respect it. Got to have a way to win in time. So go banish six. Also, I just, uh, commentators also just said that now that he's used Prosperity, he's not going to be able to OTK his opponent. There's just no way he's ever OTKing. Uh, there's four back row, and they're on Crystal Beast. I don't think I've seen Crystal Beast OTK this format. I know there's builds that like do that, but uh, most people just aren't trying to go for stuff like that with their Crystal Beast. It's more of like control. But they do. They do have Necker Valley again. So they're gonna activate the spell. So they said it's Crystal Bond. Crystal Bond. Uh, go ahead, put the Sapphire there. We're gonna put Sapphire in the Spell and Trap Zone and go search out that. Okay. And then that we, that means we have the spell. All right. Okay. Normal summon Pegasus. And they're gonna try to use the effect. You don't stop this. I don't think. Could be setting up a ruby, though, to special summon everything out. We could also just try to stop ruby, though. They're going to imprim that. Oh, Hafinus 1, imprim 2. Mill Shaylin Torn Scale. Shaylin Effect. Go ahead, do your thing. Yes, sir. Put back. Summon Kikalis. Don't summon this one in defense. Come on, let's put this one in attack. I believe in you. Also, Crystal Beast could have activated Neck. What the commentator said, they could have activated Necker Valley to play around Hafinas, which is true. So, that was a misplay. Could have just started off with Necker Valley. Maybe they were thinking, nah, they don't have Hafinas as the last card in hand, and if they do, there's no way they're gonna hit anything, right? Well, now that they have, they get a free kit, free kit search. Get Callus in defense, though, sure, like. I guess. I don't see why Daniel's ever summoning this card in defense, though. He's even summoning it in defense on turn one, which would be incorrect. Like, they're going to activate the spell now. Yo, this Crystal Beast player is just drawing insane. I, I don't even know. That's going to search Conclove. Wait. 
Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. The only column. Oh my gosh. We should have put Pegasus and matching in one of these columns because it doesn't matter if a Pegasus in the spell and trap zone gets hit with an imperm and is negated. It matters if anything we actually do gets negated. Oh my gosh. Fumbling the bag at its finest. Okay, now they're gonna attack. What, you're gonna fog blade this now? Yeah, I bet you are. You're gonna fog blade it? Okay, they're gonna act they're gonna attack and activate special. Um so you're gonna use a set card is fog blade, right? A solic. Okay. Wait. Are we using it on Pegasus? Wait. Hold on. How is this card worded? I can't, I can't read that, bro. I can't lie. But the Pegasus is negated, so we can't solic negate Pegasus. So, yeah, is Solik negated the, the Crystal Beast level 8 guy? Okay, never mind. When does, when does the Crystal Beast guy get summoned? I mean, this is this is so tough to watch. There's just so many misplays. You know what? Something I know. A lot of players opt in for feature match because they really want to be on the feature match. They really want to win on the feature match. The second they get chosen for a feature match, they start sweating. They don't know how to play properly. They make misplays and they say, "Well, you know how it is. You're up on the feature match. You make misplays." And it's like, you could have simply chose to not get feature. I, I personally opt out of live stream, like, feature matches for, like, Konami events. So, they're gonna pass. Like, if I'm in the finals, yeah, sure, put me up there. The confidence is gonna be on 400. <laughs> it's normal summon eagle. It's just crazy how we just, we're, tier is getting straight bullied right now. Like, bullied, hard bullied. Lunch money, gone. Lunch, gone. Locker, shoved in. Crazy. You're gonna go ahead and attack. Ah, look at that, Rhino. Rhino just has a lot of defense. It's crazy, if you look at Rhino Heart now, has 2,100 defense, 15 attack, has an effect of Foolish, an effect of Special Summon itself back. Old Yu-Gi-Oh, like, Breaker the Magical Warrior was seen as an insane card. Or DD Warrior Lady. Air Knight Parshap. <laughs> Draw Nessie. Do we still have to talk about how game one, they didn't put back Nessie with the kit, and they put back the Shaylin on board? That's when I knew it was all going to go down. Oh, we're going to overlay with Shade and Rhino. Okay, make Redoer. Redo her effect. This this out's Necker Valley. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. What's the other card in her hand? Wait, wait, wait. Well, wait. We have Torn Skills, Nessie. I mean, okay. Nessie effect. Can't we just normal summon in Torn Scales? Isn't like Torn Scales discard Nessie just good? What do we have in our graveyard? We better have plays in our graveyard to justify this. If we go end phase summon back redoer, I 
Ugh. What'd you draw? Nah, 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 nah. It's ancient cloak. There's no way. Never punished. Never punished. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. Also, the opponent's getting punished. What, 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 you could have you could have used these. Maybe you're not supposed to. Though. Maybe there's a reason behind it. But those could have made like Dweller or Babuska or something. Because they, they were really relying on Necker Valley. And actually, they knew that their opponent had Shade Brigadine set, right? Or no, they didn't. That was one of the, the turn one sets. They knew the the cards that were drawn because of the Kick Hallows Accidental Mill and they just get put right back to the top of the deck. But now Special Summon Out Boots. And then... So they could Overlay, they could go in the... Break sword. Um, you could break sword pop. Oh, it's actually kind of cool. Like, I know it's not gonna come up here, but we could pop Solik. Oh, we are gonna pop Solik. Okay. Do we have a way to get a monster in hand for Shaylin? We do not. Nope. Ah, oh, no, no, no. We use Ancient Cloak. So effect pop Solik. Pop the Crystal Beast. And then we're going to get Solik and Fogblade effect. Well, Solik effect. Fogblade will be able to bring us out of body at any time by banishing itself. The opponents had 77 life points. What's in their grave? They got Rhino. Yeah, but... They've already normal. They're just going to grab Miri. Um... I wonder why the weirdy normal with some ancient cloak. Wait, we normal ancient cloak. That plus Nessie. They just grabbed Miri and then built the they hit, they hit crazy. They just hit beast and other cards. They that was beast, right? Why didn't they draw off of it? That's a hundred percent beast. Do not captain me. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Ragged gloves. Beast. They didn't draw off beast. Fogblade goes summon. Wow. I'm not surprised. I'm just disappointed. Going on to the next game, that was definitely a double normal summon, right? Like, I'm not dumb. They didn't have, like, a stain the special from hand or anything. Prosperity go banish. All right. We're going to hit Necker Valley. Or something crazy. Macro Cosmos. Hit him with the macro. To go banish. Oh, chain shifter. That's so good. It's literally just extra sister with extra steps. We see Pegasus. So, you know, they, they can definitely. They got shifter. They got Pegasus. Daniel's already going to need a lot to push through. Their deck, like, hard, gets hurt by Shifter. There's also only 13 minutes left in the clock right now. Oh, they had drawn Lockward, but they got hit with Shifter. I hate Shifter. And the fact that Shifter turns off the hand traps makes me so mad. I remember one time, I went normal summon Seyford, my opponent dropped Shifter, and all five of my cards were unusable. All of them. Well, Pegasus is going to put the, the Rainbow Dragon, the Ultimate Rainbow Dragon. That's going to tag out Summon Search. So, we see Shaylin. Oh, is that Foolish? That's Foolish. Oh my gosh, so many cards that just don't do anything. Shaylin, Droll, Shaylin, Rhoda, Foolish. So, there's four cards that don't do anything. We have Rhoda plus another card. 
Rota does something, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really do anything. So activate it. Looks like the the speed duel secret Rota. I, I like speed duel secrets. They look really clean. So they're gonna search. Did they already search? Okay, I was gonna say I couldn't even tell if they grab anything. The camera angle is like so awkward. We're gonna grab torn scales. And then set one pass. Oh, Nessie, okay, okay. That was the unknown card. Okay. Five. Ha, it's Droy, smiles about it, he goes, ah, the shifter. <laughs> Uh, summons out Nessie in defense. Hey, there we go. Puts that one in defense. Let's go. They're going to let him cut before they draw. Okay, so we have... I mean, what do we draw? What was the Nessie draw? Fogblade? Pass? Nothing? Shaking his head. That's not going to solve the problem. We got Shaylin, Shaylin, Torn Scales. Set a monster pass. Okay, set a back row with a monster pass. They're going to battle phase, tack over. The commentator said, why set Shaylin? There's no point because they can't beat over Nessie. Which I guess is fair, but I mean, to be fair, when do you get to play against an opponent and they literally can't out a monster in defense, right? Like a Nessie, but they do flip DDG, so now they're under shifter again this turn pretty much. Flip can clove, they're explaining what it does, how it can special summon or send the bounce. So... Why they activate DDG? Like, well, in case that they, like, discard for cost. But if they discard for cost, like, Twin Twister, like we saw in his deck last game, then you could just chain it to DDG. So that doesn't make sense. We're going to summon Shaylin, set a back row. And then pass. Uh, they just asked if he's going to attack. Well, there's no way he's going to attack. If he attacks, they're going to get Conclove Body. They're, they're going to get more advantage out of it than you will. And your Shaylin's going to go down in the drain. Uh, he has Solix set. Probably a Fog Blade set. And then Foolish set. Okay, Imperm on Pegasus to shut down the Conclove from summoning. I'm going to chain Crystal Miracle. So, they're going to go ahead, destroy Pegasus to negate that. And then, new chain link. Confused. Are they... Is the chain link resolved? Okay, yeah, Crystal Mirror. I was gonna say, like, obviously, like, it's a counter trap. You can't change Solik to it. I don't know if that's what they were trying to do there. But now they're gonna conclove special. Because this, this doesn't do the summoning, right? There's no way, right? Please be for. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, just making sure. Yeah, that was conclove that did the summoning. Because Imperm doesn't negate conclove because it was negated by Miracle. They're gonna activate Solik now. And then they're going to chain Conclove to Bounds. And then beat over. It just doesn't seem like Crystal Beast is like doing anything. And it seems like Tier Element, they're actually going to get the play next turn. You know, you've been doing a bunch of one turn stops, but you can stop as many people as you want for one turn. Okay, no, never mind. We're going to have a Busca. Our Dweller? Okay, our Dweller. Then pass, you're gonna go Dweller. Okay, 
Okay, so we got Torn Scales, Solik. Can't use Graveyard Effects because Dweller. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter, Daniel. You don't need your Graveyard. Don't let him think that. We're going to set. No, don't set pass. The Dweller. It had a. It's at 17, right? It has two wins under it. So then, like, don't you make Dark and Dark beat over Dweller? Because now you got to deal with Dweller again. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have dealt with four turn stops instead of three. Um, we could have also normal summoned Ancient Cloak and used the effect on Nessie to make it gang. Set TC Boo. So they pulling it up. Activate Dweller. And then Nessie Hand Effect. Alright, choose. Ooh, does it hit Nessie? Oh, it hits Torn Skills. Okay, I was going to say you hit Nessie, they just they just lose a card. You know, they're under Dweller, they're not going to get the Surge. Flips the TC Boo now. Shuts them off some, from summoning any more Aquas at this point. So, they're still under Dweller. I just got hit with TC Boo. We're gonna set a card, we're gonna pass. We should probably, yeah, I was gonna say, probably pass turns. I'm pretty sure the, the set's just foolish, Solik. So, like, at that point, you're like, kinda gotta pass quick. Okay, we're gonna Fog Blade on Nessie, so that way they can't attack the Nessie. So then we're not gonna take any more damage. We're gonna flip Conclove here. And Clove will now give them a bounce. Plus, if one of their guys goes, they get the summon. Activate Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial go dump. There's a 2,900 life point difference, so they have a bounce in TC Boo. We're, we can't summon any other Aquas right now. So we can't just like dump a tier and summon Kikalos because TC Boo. So, let's find out. What is Foolish going to go dump? We're going to dump... What do we even have in Grave exactly? We have Ancient Cloak, Torn Scales. We're going to dump Miri. So we have Ancient Cloak, Torn Scales. Dump Miri. And then we're going to get the Miri effect. I think. No. Oh. Like, these plays don't make sense, bro. Why Why we just foolish Miri to not use Miri effect? Like, like, like what? <laughs> did, did you just want to activate your set card just to activate it? On the Torn Scales effect, discard, ragged gloves, go dump. Okay, that's good. That's good. You know what? Uh, as much, like, as many misplays as there have been, I got confidence in my man Daniel here, okay? The Phantom Knight Tier Goo, he, he's going to win the YCS. He's not just going to top it. He's going to win it. Okay, so now they're going to link off the... into Dark. I like how they, like, showed their shifter in Graveyard that it's a Dark. And, like, the commentators are making... A big thing over it, but like, bro, there's TC Boo. <laughs> they can't have two spellcasters up, so they can't dark take shifter because they're under the TC Boo. So, banish the special summon back. Oh, yeah, that fog would fell off from when the Nessie got linked away. Make elf. The thing is, like, the only plays that matter are the plays that we're doing this turn, right? Because there's two minutes left and we're down in life points. Right, what? Oh, he went to go mill three before he was summoning back Miri. Okay, that's why they foolished Miri.
Hafinas. Jackalobe. Okay. Um. What could Hafinas go into? Mud. Do they even play mud? There's a chance that they don't even play it. They probably do. But there's a chance that they don't. Pass? Are they... Okay, end phase can clove. Bounce, bounce. Wait, why did we bounce there? We know it's Solik. They just changed Solik. Why do we do that? I mean, it's end phase, right? This is definitely end phase. The commentators are trying to make it sound like it's battle phase, but if they have elf mirror, there's no way they ever just can clove bounce back the set Solik for no reason, right? So this is end phase. Has to be. If it's not, we got bigger problems going on. But we're gonna summon out Kit Kalos. We're gonna get Kit Kalos effective surge. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. GG's. I mean, he's doing a good play here, right? Because you can get to Kaleido and Kaleido spin back. Kaleido's not an Aqua or a Warrior or Cybers, but we are in time. That's going to be handshakes. GG's, GG's. All right, Crystal Beast ends up winning over Tier Element there, which I'm kind of okay with. You know, the Phantom Knight Tier Goose sounded cool, but um, it'd also be cool to see Crystal Beast make it the top cut. It'd be cool to see Crystal Beast do well. Imagine Crystal Beast wins a YCS in 2022. Uh, that'd be bonkers. Uh, yeah, and I'm just going over rounds uh, that I think look cool. I'm not going over every round. Also, because my PC I don't think could handle going over like eight hours of footage right now so that's bad but i'm gonna try to get at least a couple of these matches up and with that being said the db grinders signing off peace have a nice day stay safe